pretty much just finished it off. <laughs> so that, like, pretty, <laughs> took pretty much just then. And it was, yeah, it's a bit unexpected because it's that thing where you, you kind of write the songs you think you're going to be on your EP or you choose the songs and then all of a sudden another one pops up. So. making songs better and that sort of thing. But we're going into um record with Parco, Dave Parkin in a few, like a week or two um, at Blackbird and that should be good. Uh, I guess like we, we don't really know a definitive time for release for the EP but we're hoping to get it out as soon as we can. Probably but I'd say probably around the same time the album came out last year, so probably mid year. It's, it's usually just really, like, really funny things that happen at the, the point in time <laughs> that, like, just end up being defining that error of, of that song kind of thing, so... If you pan across to the side there, uh, related to the title of uh, The Great Man, Mr. Paul Keating. The star of the musical we had to have, yes. apparently. <laughs> so the song that, is called Keating, at the, uh, at the moment. It is outrageous at the moment. No, we're working well, we have these uh, White Snakes <laughs> as well, the popular 80s metal band, which is... Oh, let me just say now, the song is in no way music being inspired by White Snakes. Referring back to the question of what's the best single, White Snake is the working title of the one single. Yeah. shows and that sort of thing so I think this time we've kind of focused a lot more on the recording when we're about to record which is kind of the obvious thing to do but we didn't really do it so we're gonna we're gonna do that this time and hopefully we'll show show through in the recordings but um yeah as soon as that's done which should be in the next few weeks we'll be rehearsing for um, live shows and tours so hopefully we'll be touring until the end all the way through the year so yeah, should be good. I mean, traditionally a single comes out, you know, probably two months before a, a, a release or whatever. So I'm guessing, you know, probably, you know, I don't know, May, June, kind of that sort of area. Um, but it's really undecided at the moment. We're still, as you can see, in the writing process. So it really, yeah, it depends on a lot of kind of variables, but, you know, yeah, but we'll bring it out as soon as we can. I think these days it's been like, like we used to, we used to write a bit differently. We used to write a bit more like putting things together, like a bit of a puzzle. Whereas now it's been far more about the mood of the song. So we've come in and we've like been in a certain mood to write, or been influenced by a certain thing that we want 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 to bring out in the music. And then one part will come out that's like great, and we're like, oh, that's good. We'll work with that. So then the mood of that part really defines the song. So then we kind of work off that one kind of mood. But um, yeah, because we've been in here the whole time, it's been really good for us because we haven't had a constant change of loading things in and loading things out into a rehearsal studio, so it's been really good just to keep a stable atmosphere while writing different songs, so it's been good. I've enjoyed it. We're going to be releasing another mini documentary about our recordings and that sort of thing in preparation for the tour. So, yeah. A video. So this way. And then we'll record. <laughs> so like and then we'll put the songs out, and you can listen to them. Don't have to buy it. Just download it.